Okay, I believe this is the Thomas cabin that is at Clear Creek. Um, as soon as you pull in off of 33, it's gonna like the first thing you see. You're gonna see one cabin there on the, on the right as you're pulling in. And then as soon as you go by that one cabin, you'll see a little parking area, you get out there, walk back the trail and you can see this one. And then you can also go over and see the other one. This one here is Thomas cabin, I believe. You can pause it to read it. I'm trying to get it all on frame. There you go. It says in 1921 and purchased an 80 acre tract of cut timber. So I'm assume, yeah, it's locked so we can't go in. Interesting. Do I want to open this? Cool. A little cubby hole up there. You store some stuff. That's awesome. I love the smell of old old wood. Though I'm gonna say that <laughs> I doubt that roof is original. Matter of fact I know it's not. Well, it goes pretty that far back here, too. That's bigger than I thought it was. So that cubby hole, I wonder if it's the whole extent up there. Or if there's actually an upstairs in the middle where it's higher. They need to have an event where these are open so the public can see them. Got that screwed shut so you can't look inside. I'd say that's probably from an idiot, and yes, an idiot that probably kicked it in, thinking they could get in here, because they had special privileges. Very closed, do not enter. Looks like a little trail there. I mean, it's a, it's a shame that they got to secure stuff like this to keep people out. I mean, I know I looked in that thing, but I, you know, if we were permitted to go in, I, go in, but people want to go in and they want to be destructive. And when they want to destroy stuff or steal stuff. So I can understand why they want to keep people out. You know, I mean, I would love to go in here. And most people are under good and they're going in and look at it and you got a few idiots that want to go in and want to be destructive so it's because of them that they got to keep it secure all right so let's go down and let's check out the other cabin okay this is the matthias cabin and this is the one you're going to see when you come into clear creek off of 33. I said when you come in, it's going to be on your right side. This in here, you got a window. It's just empty in there. Like a fireplace over there on the left. Try to put this right up against the glass and see if I can 
Just like just one room. One room cabin. I wonder if the other one was one room. Well, there's a door back there. That's probably the back door, though. Not really a fireplace, more just like a little stove. <laughs> Look at that. A lawnmower. A few tools. And you probably could put something in there and actually make a little loft up there. Throw a few sheets of plywood down. Okay. I don't know. I don't see a sign here for this one. The Matthias cabin. But if I was to guess, I'd say the other one over there, the Thomas cabin, is the older one of the two. Yeah, see that's the back door that we saw on the inside. That trail goes to. Might have to follow just to see. Yeah, I don't see any type of uh, plaque or anything here telling the story for this one. So I don't really know the history behind this. Let's see if I can find something and I'll put it in the description below. So this is the, the Thomas cabin is the first one and Matthias cabin is this one. Clear Creek Metro Park. <laughs>